What's up guys, it's all the Anthony, and welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. And in today's video, I am giving you the official all the Anthony wheel and tire setup for EK Honda Civics. Let's go. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have a new set of wheels, a new set of tires, and plenty of people that want to know what the official All Day Anthony wheel and tire specs are on this red Honda Civic here. And I felt like there was no better time to make this video than right now, as my wheels and my tires just came in for my white 2000 Honda Civic project. Now where is that car currently? Well right now it's being stored at my work while I continue to work on a few more things, but I thought I'd use the red Honda Civic here as an example, as this is the final outcome of this setup. Now Anthony, you're not running the exact same setup on the white Civic as the red Civic, are you? Well, pretty close, and I'll explain that here in just a few minutes, but ultimately I think that this setup is one of the most budget-friendly, functional, and good-looking setups that you can get for an EK Honda Civic that is tried and true. So today I'm going to give you a walk around of the tires, an unboxing of the wheels, and the few accessories you need to replicate this setup. Let's go. All right guys, so before we begin, I wanna give a quick shout out to my friends over at Viper Chairs for sending out the new Robust Steel Pro Chair in the ADA spec. And no, I'm not talking about the Americans with Disability Act, I'm talking about all the Anthony, red and black. And this chair is extremely badass. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you the assembly video of this chair as well. So we're gonna make ourselves comfortable. Oh wow, that's nice. All right guys, so we're talking accessories first because I personally feel like this is the most important part of this video. You should not run this setup without these few accessories, and if you do, you might be in for a pretty bad time. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is hub-centric rings here. Now, what are hub-centric rings? These are essentially an alignment tool to make sure that your wheel is perfectly centered on your car's hub. So these rings right here are gonna be in different measurements, meaning that if your wheels are a wider bore than your car's bore on here, you're going to need a ring to fill in that space. Now this ring is going to make sure that the alignment of the wheel onto the car is gonna be a lot easier, and it's also going to prevent the weight from sitting on the wheel studs themselves. Now I've known people to run uh, different size wheel bores with different size bores on their cars, um, and what basically that does is it puts excessive stress on the studs, which could cause your lug nuts to come loose. So you don't want that. You want those wheels sitting on the bore directly, so you're gonna to pick up some hub centric rings. Now the Civics bore here is a 56.1 bore as you can see here on the side and the bore of these wheels is going to be a 73.1. So obviously quite a bit of, of a difference. So the car being smaller than the wheel itself. So these are going to slide onto your existing hub and then the wheel is going to slide on over here or you can simply slide these into the back of your wheel and I'll show you the fitment here in just a little bit. But this is an important part man. Don't miss out on these. They're roughly I think 11 bucks on Amazon. They make metal versions, they make plastic versions. I wanna say that these are like a high impact plastic and I've been running these exact ones on the red Honda Civic here for roughly a couple years without any issues whatsoever. So again, if you want to run this setup, make sure you pick up hub centric rings. So the next accessory is going to be acorn style lug nuts. So opening up a Pandora's box here of lug nuts, I'm gonna pull out this, 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 and that should be good. So an acorn style lug nut. Why is this needed? It's needed because of the lug shape on the wheel itself, meaning that this shape right here is what's needed to align that onto the wheel stud. And so this right here is gonna be smaller in diameter than your OEM style lug nut. So when you put them side by side, this is gonna be thinner. And in often cases on tuner wheels, that recessed area will be thinner in diameter as well, meaning that you probably can't even fit that in there in the first place. Now these are gonna come with a key, such as this, that's gonna slide right in, and then you're gonna use your normal socket to turn that off. So just don't lose your key. So um, this is needed. I'm sure many of you guys probably already know that by now, but some people think that they can run the stock lugs um, with the uh, aftermarket wheels and it just doesn't work. So pick up these, you can pick them up at your local I don't know, auto parts store, you can order them off of Amazon. I wanna say they're 20 to 30 bucks. Uh, in this case right here, these ones are pretty cheap and the uh, black started to flake off, but I'll probably run them anyways because I have them. So anyways, tuner style lug nuts, and I believe the size is 12, uh, M12 by 1.5. 
All right, so now it's time for the fun stuff, and yes, I'm talking about that meat. Oh, that feels good. These right here are the Nitto Neogen tires, made in Japan. I've been running these on the red Honda Civic for well over a year and a half, and I'm absolutely in love with these tires. I've taken them up in twisty roads, I've daily driven on them, I've taken them in the snow, I've taken them in the rain, and I think for overall all season performance, I think they're extremely hard to beat. Now the sizing on these is 205 50 15. Why did I choose to go with these? Honestly guys, it was kind of by luck. I actually had no idea about these tires until my friend Greg at Discount Tire introduced them to me. I ran them on the red Honda Civic and I've been in love with them ever since. So I wanted to run these exact same tires on the white Honda Civic because I know they perform well, I know they look well, and uh, I think best bang for the buck, especially being on a budget, you just can't beat them. So taking a look at the sidewall here, one of the, my favorite things about these is the sidewall. And that is because there's not a lot going on here. And from a detailer's perspective, uh, basically the less stuff here, the easier it is to put tire dressings on, meaning that you can keep these tires looking newer for longer. Those tires have been on there for a year and a half and I've put miles and miles and miles on them and they still look brand new. And I can't say that about a lot of other tires out there. Now, another big selling point for me on these tires was the fact that they have increased wear resistance on the inner portion of the tire, meaning that if you're running negative camber, such as I am on the red Civic and I will be on the white Civic, you're going to get more life out of these tires in general. Now, I also just like the look of the tread pattern. I think they did a good job on these. I think this outward portion here still looks relatively aggressive for an all season tire um, and you get that tire poke. And you can see right here on my setup, you can see where the tread kind of peeks through on the front and the rear. Um, and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So these tires come in at roughly 20 pounds pounds a piece. So if you're running, let's just say an 11, 12 pound wheel, you'll be at a little over 30 pounds per corner. And the less rotational mass you have per corner, the faster your car is going to feel, faster it's going to perform, you know, yada, yada, yada. So um, I think from a name brand perspective, I feel like these tires are just made for Honda people. Seriously, they only make them in one 15 inch size and it happens to be 205 50 15 and that's the size I chose to run on this setup. Now, some people have asked why I didn't run, let's just say a 195 55 uh, and that's because I think that this is the perfect amount of meat on this tire, meaning that that sidewall there that you see flows really well with these 90s Honda Civics. I think it's just very aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't look like a rubber band. It's not too thick where you have tire bulge. It's just perfect. And so taking a closer look here at my setup here, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. I feel like you get just, just, it's just that meat. I don't know how else to describe it, man. I just want to take a steak knife and a fork and just start carving into it and taking bites out of it because it looks so damn good. Don't actually do that. You might puncture your tire. But overall though, I love this tire, man. Seriously, that's why I chose to go with it again. I think that you're gonna be under 100 bucks per tire, so meaning out the door after Mountain Balance, you'll probably be uh, a little over 400 bucks. And I think for all season tires that you're gonna get plenty of wear out of, um, I think it's perfect. And I put roughly, what, maybe 6,000, 7,000 miles on these tires, and I'm guessing I'll probably get, I don't know, maybe another 20, 30, depending on how I drive on them, as long as I continue to rotate them. One thing I have been debating doing is tire letters for the white Honda Civic. Do you guys want to see white tire letters on here like I did on the red Civic roughly a year ago? Would that look pretty good? I don't know, let me know down in the comments. I've been highly considering it in doing one of the more permanent options from tirestickers.com. So uh, let me know what you think. I might end up doing it, I might not. Um, but overall, here's a look. Again, 20 pounds a piece. I love the way it looks. I think that the 205 width on it just looks killer. I think it makes the uh, the wheel and tire setup look meatier than what it really is. I mean, 205 is still relatively thin in the car world, uh, but I think for this car, I still think it looks fantastic. So, so yeah, that's gonna wrap up for the tires. You can order them from Discount Tire. I think Amazon sells them as well. Um, ship them to your house, ship them to your shop, go from there. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for these. Absolutely love them. So if that means the accessories were the appetizer, the tires being the meat and the main course, does that mean that the wheels are the dessert? Because prepare yourself, it's about to get creamy. I can't say that. All right, I'm allowed one bad joke per video, so let's jump into this. So I did a teaser last week on Instagram uh, showing off the wheel, still kind of covered. I think people probably had a pretty good idea of what I went with, but I think it's finally time for you guys to see these things. So here we go, baby. The unveiling. Well, I think there's still plastic on them, so the semi-unveiling. 
Okay, well, that's, that was kind of anticlimactic. All right, let's try this again. So here we go, my brand new flow formed Koenig decagrams in the gloss bronze finish. These wheels are absolutely beautiful. The sizing on these is a 15 by seven and a half with a 35 offset. So again, 15 by 7.5, 35 offset, 35 ET, 35 offset, you know, whatever you wanna call it, that's what this wheel size is. So if you wanna replicate that, there you go. There's my sizing, there's the specs, the secrets out there. That's what I run, it's not complicated, but it is a setup that absolutely works. So why did I choose to go with the Koenig decagrams again? Well, first off, I couldn't be picky. Again, we're living in the age of COVID right now where production is still pretty low, um, shipping times are crazy, and inventory is pretty low amongst many manufacturers. So just being able to get a brand new set of wheels in general, I was pumped on, uh, let alone being the decagrams that I know absolutely work. So these wheels are functional, these wheels are extremely lightweight, and they look extremely good on these cars. I feel like in the 15 by seven and a half size, you can see the slight bit of concavity that this wheel has and it looks so freaking good. It may not have an aggressive lip on it like some other wheels may have, but I feel for a 35 offset wheel, these things just look absolutely killer. I think Koenig just hit it out the park with this wheel design in general. So again, the decagrams are part of the flow formed line of wheels, meaning that these are part of their forging process to make them lighter and stronger in comparison to their mainline wheels. Now, one quick thing I wanna show you, going back to what I was talking about with those hub centric rings. See these right here? These are going to flip this over lightly, go right into the back of there, and that goes onto your bore on your car there. So basically it's a perfect fit at that point and these just simply pop out after you're done. So Koenig does make some hub centric rings of their own. I decided to go super cheap though and go the budget route with mine, but uh, they're gonna work and they're gonna get the job done. So anyways, I cannot wait to get these mounted onto these and onto that white Honda Civic because at this point, you guys may or may not know but I've already done, uh, let's just say, a little bit of lowering on that car. And so once we get these buttoned up on there, it's gonna look killer. But I think you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the, uh, the future coilover install video on the White Civic as well. Now, one quick thing I wanna do, cause I'm just, I'm curious. I know you guys are probably curious too. How would the bronze, it actually would look, it actually would look pretty well. How do I, how could I do that? I don't wanna have to go through the trouble of mounting it, but I think the bronze could look good with the red. What do you think? Yes, no, maybe so. Kind of mount it up like that. That would look pretty good. I actually think that looked pretty good, but you can see what I mean about kind of the concavity there. Maybe you can see it here on the red Civic. Man, love it, dude. Love it. So one last thing I need to cover in this video is gonna be the overall fitment. You know what the setup is, so how does it all come together on the car, right? What other accessories do you need to make sure that you get the same style and same look? Uh, well, first off, I'm on coilovers. You guys probably know that by now. I'm lowered roughly two and a half inches in the front and about two and a quarter inches in the rear. I am running camber kits on both the front and the rear. But one thing I want to say is that when I was first running this setup, I was not on the camber kits and I was still able to fit everything. So you don't need the camber kits because when you lower the car, the way that the wheels are gonna camber in naturally, I think you're still gonna have plenty of clearance with this wheel and tire setup. If anything, you might get some slight, slight rub in the rear, just depending on how low you are. I was able to get away with it for quite some time. But again, if you watch my video of me driving through the mountains, you'll know I had some rubbing issues and that was because I was driving on the car pretty damn hard. If I wasn't driving on it as hard, I would not have been rubbing as aggressively. So if you want the perfect fitment, I highly recommend getting the camber kits. If you can roll the rears, and if you haven't seen my rear rolling video, check it out because it'll show you how I got the rears to get rolled without paint cracking and have it be functional and still look good. And uh, yeah, so and again, it's one thing to know kind of 
the recipe for everything, but it's another thing to know how to actually cook it, and this is actually how to cook it, right? You can run it without camber kits, but if you run it with camber kits, you're gonna get much better fitment, you're gonna get a much better look, and you can actually dial in the camber of the wheel and tire to where you can get more of an aggressive stance on the car, such as I have here on the Red Civic. So hopefully that's helpful to everybody. Um, again, check out my other videos if you're curious on how everything came together. I will be producing more content on the White Civic, but on the White Civic, I'm not gonna be running camber kits on that because it's just not in my budget. So I'm gonna try to make it work with everything I have here, and hopefully it all goes together perfectly. So as always, if you guys like this video and want to see more of that Honda Civic content that you know is coming, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.